Mrs. Gundo was applying for asylum on the grounds of past persecution. She had suffered female genital cutting as a child, and she knew that if she had to take her daughter back to Africa, that her family would insist that her daughter be genitally cut too. It's a practice that's been going on for thousands of years. In Mali, more than 85% of women and girls are genitally mutilated. What was important to me was that the presentation of Africa and Africans in this film is not mediated by any outsiders. There's no outside voice explaining anything about the culture. So the people who are for the practice are Malian and the people against the practice are Malian. They get to totally speak for themselves and we get to understand the debate as they see it. The communities that are determined to do it and who say, we're gonna keep doing this because our daughters won't be marriageable unless, unless we do this, um, they tell us that as loving parents and we accept that. I felt it was really important that Malian people weren't demonized in the process of having this conversation. I didn't want all of Malian culture and everything that Malian people are to be reduced to this one practice. That it's a much more complex issue, it's, a much more, it's obviously a more nuanced and more complex uh, culture. And I think Mrs. Gundo sacrificed a lot to protect her.